my attempt at finding top dead center on this uh, small block Chevy 350. Uh, I'm going to use a Summit Racing piston stop. It's adjustable on the in, on the interior screw here for depth. So we'll come over here. We'll slap this in the number one cylinder. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and turn the uh, crankshaft clockwise. I've uh, got some six-inch bolts threaded into the three crankshaft pulley um, threads so that it sticks out far enough for me to get some big uh, bars through those and make the engine a little easier to turn by hand. All right, having turned the engine clockwise, uh, we came to a stop where the uh, piston hit the piston stop. So I'll uh, use a marker and on the zero mark of this timing tag uh, I'll place a marker line and then I'll go counterclockwise and do the same thing. Alright, we've turned the engine counterclockwise now and have made contact with the piston stop so we'll make another mark at the zero point on this tab and then I'll rotate uh, the balancer so that from the bottom we can take the middle measurement and uh, that'll be top dead center. Okay, we're underneath the vehicle. I've turned the marks to where I can see them. This was the counterclockwise mark. This was the counterclockwise mark. So I made a mark with uh, orange RTV directly in the center of those two marks. On this specific harmonic balancer, it's actually about the five degree uh, point. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get these bolts out of here put the crankshaft pulley bolts back in, turn the uh, crankshaft clockwise until the new middle mark is at the zero point on that tab, and then I'll check where the rotor, distributor rotor is uh, for the number one cylinder. Even with all the spark plugs removed, you can still see how much force it takes to turn this engine by hand uh, with these bolts. These are hardened uh, steel bolts and uh, as you can see they got bent by the uh, rod that was being used to get leverage on the engine so you may have other ways of doing it but working alone this is the best one I could think of alright I went ahead and removed the wire so we can get a better look here so I've made a mark at the base of the distributor body that aligns with the number one spark plug and again our engines at top dead center right now having all kinds of fun with the light in here. So as we remove the cap, you'll see that there's some degree of adjustment here. Uh, right now the vacuum advance is contacting this bolt, so the body itself cannot move anymore this way. Uh, as it stands, our rotor is here, and the body needs to go clockwise. Right there would be about optimal. Mark right about where it needs to be. insert the distributor on the compression stroke uh, which this is so let's put all this back together fire it up and time it okay you want to definitely remember to remove the piston stop out of the engine advanced the uh, orange top dead center mark to the zero. 